The Brute Plasma Rifle, Silenced SMG, and the Auto Mag have been taken from ODST and put into Halo 3, but there were significant changes made to these weapons to fit the Halo 3 sandbox. In this video, we're going to go into all those details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know when you want to see some more content like this. Helps more people get the chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. With the release of ODST on the PC, it brings not only, well, the game itself, it brings Firefight, but also some new additions to Halo 3 as well. Some of those additions being three new weapons in the Halo 3 sandbox, being the Brute Plaza Rifle, the Silence SMG, and the Auto Mag, which are all from ODST. Now you're probably thinking, okay, yeah, they just copy and pasted it in the game. It's the same engine and everything else is the same. Just put it in. It's totally fine. Well, not exactly because obviously the sandbox in Halo 3 has been fine-tuned by every weapon and you just can't just throw new things in without worrying about completely throwing out the balance of the game. Well, if the science SMG is the new meta for Halo 3, well, they try to avoid something like that. So we're going to go into the details of what 343 had to do to bring these three weapons into the MCC for Halo 3. So let's get right into it. Now let's start out with the silenced SMG, which I think is probably the best addition to the sandbox as I played the flight plenty of times. And I noticed that the silenced SMG is pretty dang good. And they had to make some significant changes to it from ODST to make it fit in the sandbox properly. One of the reasons why they had to make some significant changes is because the silenced SMG is the only fully auto weapon that you actually can zoom in with so it will increase the red radical range and then increase its accuracy when doing so so obviously when you do something like that making it such a unique weapon to the sandbox you need to take into consideration what that will do and 343 wanted to maintain the uniqueness of those weapons so they thought that obviously since you can scope in with it that effectiveness at range should be a little bit better than like the standard smg so what 343 did is that the bullet damage from odst was cut in half for halo 3's multi player. So since they cut that bullet damage in half, they mentioned how it's not very effective against shields, which is kind of the general theme when it comes to UNSC weapons, that they're generally much better at taking down health than shields, and vice versa with you know, Covenant weapons being very good against shields, but not so great against health. And so they wanted to also emphasize this, so the bullet damage and accuracy has changed a bit for a little bit more longer range engagements, engagements than the standard SMG. This way the recoil kicks just a bit sooner, so the longer you hold down, the more recoil you'll have. So the better way to kind of take use this weapon at range is in controlled bursts, which I found to be very effective. I was just tap firing really fast on mouse and keyboard, and it was basically like no recoil. It was was really really nice to use and another thing is that you cannot dual wield the silence smg like you can with the regular smg as well i tried it in the flight not possible and also it has half the magazine as well as the smg so you have to be very precise with your accuracy not saying that it can be outclassed by the smg i think it does a great job i was able to take down people in generally about one clip and so it does a good job of taking down enemies it's not underpowered or anything like that and i think it's just a really fun addition personally i think adding this into the sandbox I think they missed an opportunity what they did with Halo 5 where if you shot a silenced weapon you don't appear on the radar and I think that'd be a really cool thing to do when it comes to the silenced SMG where if you're shooting that weapon you don't appear on the radar I think it'd just be a cool new addition to kind of give some new gameplay mechanic rather than just you know bullet damage and recoil changes but that's just my opinion another weapon that's coming to Halo 3 guys is the Brute Plasma Rifle from ODAC which surprisingly I didn't realize it actually wasn't in Halo 3 three uh, but now when I think about it I'm like actually yeah it wasn't in the game was it so that's kind of interesting to know about but um, so when they wanted to bring this weapon into the game they saw that statistically the weapon functions identically to the regular plaza rifle so obviously you don't have the exact same weapon just a different skin on there it's just you know, it makes the like, weapon redundant and kind of pointless. So what they decided to do is kind of follow along with the same footsteps as it, the Brute Plasma Rifle did in Halo 2, as it being a faster fire rate, but also a higher chance of, of overheating the weapon as well. Basically the same experience that you have, like say in Halo 5 and Halo 2, you'll have that same experience with Halo 3's 
brute plasma rifle. So if you can land your shots, it will be fantastic at taking down shields, almost to the point where it's almost like a noob combo. So that's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out as well. And now the third weapon that was added into Halo 3, the auto mag, which is obviously the signature weapon of ODST. And I'm sure a lot of people are probably looking forward to using this weapon in Halo 3. And now I got a chance to play around with this a little bit. They actually made specific playlists for it, which was uh, Recon Slayer, Recon SWAT, which utilized the auto mag. So I had a plenty of chance to kind of jump in, play around with this and get my full experience of it. Obviously bringing it over from ODST to Halo 3, there were some significant changes made to this game uh, because the fire rate in ODC, it's super fast and there's a lot of recoil with this weapon. And generally with Halo 3, weapons don't really have recoil. If it's due, it's rather minimal. The only weapon that really has that is the SMG. And so for this weapon to kind of function in line with the sandbox as well, what they actually did it was they removed the recoil of this auto mag. But what they did is they actually slowed down the fire rate a little bit as well. So you can't fire it as fast as you can in the ODST campaign or firefight. That way it kind of gives you a much more precise magnum essentially like we have in Halo 3's. Magnum is famously terrible and really inaccurate and kind of just almost pointless. Well this is kind of supposed to be like a Halo 3 magnum that actually works. And so what they wanted to do is kind of put this weapon as a precision utility weapon that kind of fit in line with maybe like a battle rifle or kind of have like a niche between like somewhere between like Halo Reach, Halo 5, CEs, and even Halo 4's pistol. Somewhere in the mix of those kind of feels is kind of what you get. It's a very unique feeling weapon within the Halo 3 sandbox. So this weapon is a consistent five shot kill. Uh, they said the time to kill is kind of the same line of like the battle rifle, but I would say it's way less forgiving than the battle rifle itself. Obviously, since it's a single shot weapon, I had plenty of time to jump in and play with this. And there were some times I just felt like it was a little inconsistent when it comes to shooting. Obviously they said they wanted to be a consistent weapon, but it just didn't feel like that. But obviously, since it's just a unique weapon within the sandbox, I probably really just wasn't really used to it. You still have to lead your shots much like you do with all the other weapons within Halo 3 as well. So it probably has some part to do with it, but it seemed like there was a decent amount of spray where you can't just snipe people across the map like you can with like a Halo Reach DMR say. Uh, it's still a significant amount of lead time and its uniqueness within the sandbox is definitely a welcomed addition. Playing Recon Slayer is actually quite a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Recon SWAT is actually probably my favorite with this weapon. And so I'm really looking forward to get a chance to play this more consistently within Halo 3 Sandbox. So I would definitely look forward to seeing like Recon playlists be available day one when ODST releases onto the MCC for PC and Xbox. So let me know in the comment section down below, what weapon are you guys looking forward to use the most? Me personally, probably the auto mag is my favorite one to use, but the probably most uh, usable one would probably be the science SMG. Uh, they didn't change any of the default maps. So you have to play like specific maps or custom games if you want to actually play these. Uh, so I can see this being like a very popular thing maybe in like custom game browser once that finally releases. Or if they add this in like Fiesta or, or even add it in SWAT, that would be pretty freaking sweet in my opinion. But we'll just have to see how these weapons get implemented properly into the Halo 3 matchmaking. So anyway guys, that's everything we had to talk about with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right here if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.